Ever since I started making YouTube videos, again and again I've been amazed at just how much of a voice third wave feminism is given in everyday life. For a movement that thrives on deceptive propaganda, tacky pleas to emotion and outright lies, they have a significant voice when it comes to traditional Australian media and significant influence when it comes to government decision making and spending. TV networks like SBS, which is partially government funded, and the ABC, which is fully government funded, appear to have become feminist networks shamelessly pushing the agenda of Australian feminism without providing any kind of opposing argument which could assist the Australian people in forming their own opinions. In similar fashion, Australian print media seems to have become an echo chamber of feminist propaganda, with the likes of Clementine Ford, Van Badham, Alice Clark, Tara Moss and Geraldine Doog writing for major publications and networks right across the country. To give you an example of the absolute shit they spew at the public, here's a clip of prominent Australian feminist Clementine Ford giving a TEDx talk on rape culture back in 2013. Yay, rape culture exists everywhere. Uh, we can all share it. Um... <laughs> Hey, quality rape joke, Clementine. Good one. I'm uncomfortable with the fact that because of the work that I do, I stand in front of an audience like this and I automatically think, which third of this audience has experienced sexual assault or violence or rape? Which third, Clementine? Where the fuck do you get this number? I mean, a study of sexual violence on college campuses in the US, which was later labelled as untrustworthy by those who conducted the study, gave us the ridiculous one in five figure, then for no other reason than the desire to make their propaganda a bit more effective, feminists pushed this figure to one in four. Now Clementine would have us believe it's actually one in three. Well, in reality, much to Clementine's annoyance, I'm sure, the occurrence of rape in Australia has been significantly declining. In 2003, there were 91.6 reported rapes per 100,000 people. Fast forward to 2010, and the number had decreased to 28.6 per 100,000 people. That's around 0.028% of Australian women. Now, I realise Clementine meant which third have experienced sexual violence or rape over their lifetime, but at 0.028% annually, one third is beyond ridiculous. Fuck off, you pulled this number out of your fat ass. Thanks to all this feminazi influence, the Australian government recently launched a $30 million ad campaign tackling the country's supposed domestic violence epidemic. And when they say domestic violence, they mean violence against women at the hands of men. Because men are all evil cunts. It's nice to know that those in control of our tax money are spending it so wisely. I mean, look at this. What a load of fucking shit. If that was my family when I was younger, my mum would have come outside and slapped the absolute fucking shit out of me, or chased me around the backyard with a fucking broom or something. And that's if my sister didn't beat her to it. And I love the threatening look they had the boy give them, as if he's saying, What cunt? Don't make me come in there and beat the fuck out of both you sluts. This incredibly expensive ad campaign isn't going to do any good. It's going to send the message to girls that they're pathetic victims, and it will send a message to boys that they're horrible sadistic cunts by default. Now I've painted a pretty shitty picture for you, but there is hope for Australia. As I said, feminists seem to have a stranglehold on traditional forms of media here, but it's those traditional forms of media that are dying in the arse. Australian commercial television is taking a hammering with a consistently declining audience. The number of people who don't watch any commercial TV is higher than ever before, and the decline only appears to be gaining momentum. Australian newspaper sales are seeing a steady decline of between 8 and 17% per annum. The Age, a prominent Melbourne newspaper, is now circulating less than 100,000 copies a day, falling below its average daily circulation in the year 1890. Even the online efforts of some of these feminist-influenced media networks are flailing. Clementine Ford's dailylife.com.au is only registering around 2 million visits per month. My YouTube channel alone gets over 5 million plays per month. Non-traditional forms of media are gaining popularity at a rate of knots. In April of 2016, YouTube had 14.25 million unique Australian visitors, compared with 13.7 million in April of 2015, 12.7 million in April of 2014, and 11 million in April of 2013. That represents an average growth of around 9.1% per annum. And it's platforms like YouTube that Australian feminists tend to avoid. Because unlike traditional media, the consumer and the public at large have the ability to respond and to criticise the bullshit they're fed. In fact, they can do it with an equally loud, if not louder voice. And if there's one thing feminists hate, it's criticism. Australia has a rapidly growing contingent of anti-feminist YouTubers. People who, like me, are tired of having this relentless tirade of deceptive feminist propaganda thrown at them. 
and I think that's fucking fantastic. So I'm going to tell you about a few that I think are well worth checking out. At least this dishonest asshole of a <clears throat> journalist admits right up front that he's going to lie to his, his readership. He's basically just come out and said it, that he's going to lie and deceive his readership. Uh... <laughs> Absolutely fucking amazing, isn't it? And and people actually wonder why there's anti-feminists. Because the mother wouldn't think to go to her daughter and say, holy fuck, you nearly just killed that girl with a shovel, and then go and tend to the girl that was hit with the shovel. No, you'll just come outside and tell them all to get off your property. And you won't have any remorse of any kind. You will be proud that your daughter did it. Honestly, man, what the fuck is she? No, that's mean. I, I do feel fucking sorry for her, like... Oh, I don't know what to say without it sounding mean. But... It's like she never got a fucking proper chance at life, you know, like... Uh, I say while drinking my beer, but... This is why feminism is declining at such a rapid rate. I mean, these are the people that stand up for feminism. <clears throat> it's just fucking... I don't know, man. That's something else. Holy fuck. Yeah. You often hear that women can do anything a man can do, and that they can do it better. Now, if you're like me and you don't just believe things because some virtue signaling moron with a tie said so, you might stop and wonder, if women can do anything men can do, why don't they? Mainly, it's because their media sources and social circles paint pictures that define the world as horrifically aggressive against women. Unfortunately, it's an effective process that actively breeds ignorance and emotion to fuel its various power plays. On top of this, these people think that their arguments are so powerful they blow the opponents completely out of the water. When in reality, they move this metaphorical water with all the style and grace and effectiveness of a drunk birthday clown shitting into a kiddie pool. For a little social experiment, try going on Facebook, creating a new account because, trust me, you don't want to use your real one. Go to a page like Everyday Feminism or another feminist blog like that and comment, I'm a woman and I disagree. Or even just, I disagree. Now wait for the fucking shitstorm because it's coming. Now this old cunt with his pseudo-intellectual edgelord persona is out of the way, I'm here to tell you cunts why the idea that women and men are different but equal is nothing but a steaming pile of feminist period blood. Or, you know, a pile of horse shit. Well, fuck me. Who didn't see that stereotype coming? <laughs> Let's go grab the girls for a session of butch bashing on skates, and maybe later, perhaps a round of office scissoring. We've got to get those posters cut up by Friday. Now drop your boxes and let's fist. People will call you names relating to your gender. Yes. No shit. Everyone gets called names online. Sure, they will have to do with your gender, but that's just because that's what pisses you off. It clearly does piss you off. It works. If it was something else was a more effective way of ripping on you, then they'd use that. This is something that happens to everyone. Being female does not make you special, and it does not make you a victim. Okay, that last one, Danny Duchamp, he's actually from New Zealand. But the country's got a population of, like, 14. And it's not that far away, so I thought I'd include him. Most of these channels are under one year old, and together we've had over 32 million plays. Considering our country has a population of around 24 million, I'd say we're definitely providing the counter-argument that our country needed to hear. So my message to Australian feminists is this. As we move forward and your traditional forms of media continue to die off and platforms like YouTube continue to grow in size and popularity, understand this. We are not afraid of criticism. We are not afraid of the truth. And we are waiting for you in numbers. You might want to get your shit together because we will expose your propaganda. 
for the steaming pile of fucking shit that it is. Cheerio. You know, watching my channel grow as quickly as it has, has been fucking incredible. It's nice to know that there's so many people out there who enjoy watching my videos as much as I enjoy making them. Like anyone else, I've got cubs to feed and bills to pay, so I really appreciate all the support that I get. It allows me to create and publish better videos at a faster rate. If you'd like to throw something in the hat as well, you can either support my videos on a continuing basis through Patreon, or by making a one-time donation via PayPal. You'll find links in the description. If you can't or don't want to, that's okay too. You can help my channel grow by liking and sharing this video. Thanks for watching.